guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all really well so in today's video i have done a huge boohoo order and yeah i want to show you all what i picked up i've got some really nice things a lot of nice dresses it's always a little bit hit and miss isn't it boohoo some of the sizes are a little bit off sometimes the quality isn't great but i am happy with the things that i picked up actually and yeah, I will jump straight into the video. So grab yourself a drink and I will show you exactly what I picked up. So the first item I want to show you is this beautiful skater dress. I loved the, the print on this. It's not something I would normally go for, but I just thought it was so, so pretty. So it's a skater dress and then it's got these gorgeous fluted sleeves. It's kind of that material though where if it gets a bit staticky, it might, might like stick to your legs. You know, when it does that, I hate that. But... It didn't when I tried it on. I actually think it would be quite nice to wear it back to front as well. And then you could have the v-neck at the back if you prefer a higher neckline. But yeah, I think that is gorgeous. So I got it in a size 8 and it was £14.40. And it's just really pretty. I can just imagine this just going to go sit in the beer garden, which isn't really happening at the moment. Really lovely summery dress and um, yeah really pretty and girly and i'm very pleased with that the next thing i picked up was this collot jumpsuit i'm not mad keen on this one i actually nearly pulled a muscle just trying to get out of it it's a little bit of a tricky one i i just think kind of go to the toilet and this is just going to be an absolute nightmare so the buttons aren't real buttons so the only way in this is just through the top here so that's a little bit of a pain in my opinion. I got this from the petite section and it's this rib stretchy material. So it's like it's really comfy and everything, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it. So it was 15 pound and it was a size eight and it's got these collot legs. And yeah, I mean, it's nice, but I just don't think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. And like I say, getting in and out of it was a, like a real challenge. So I'm probably going to send that one back. Next item, I love this so, so much, but it was just that little bit too small. So I'm probably going to send it back and get the bigger size. I mean, boohoo clothing, is it just me or is their sizing just a little bit off sometimes? Or maybe it's just the lockdown gains. But yeah, it's just too tight. It wouldn't be very comfortable. And they also did this in black, but I just think it is so cute, this little denim dress. I think it'd be nice with like a white tee underneath it, a pair of vans. I just think it is such a cute little dress. So this was £16, which I think is really good for the, like, the fact that it's denim. It feels really good quality, but just a little bit too tight. I'm not going to be comfortable wearing this, especially here, just a little bit tight around the middle. So I'm going to get a bigger size. I got it in size 8, so I'm going to size up. And yeah, probably get the black one as well because I think for that price, why not? So next item is another dress and I'm gutted again because this looks stunning on the model on the website. But on me, my first thought was Wendy, Peter Pan, I look like I'm in my IT. Um, and also it should come with a bit of a warning because I got splinters as soon as I unbuttoned one of these buttons. Like these are like hazardous. So just be careful because full on splinter in my finger. I love, love, love the embroidery sleeves. I love the square neckline and it's got embroidery detail at the bottom. And yeah, it's really nice, but I just think I'll be for some reason. Smock dresses just don't do me any favors. And I end up looking a bit like I'm a 12 year old in my nighty, but I'm sure for all you lovely lot out there, it will look fabulous. And this was, £16 and I got it in a size 8 again and then moving on to this item which is my absolute favourite because it is big and loungy and comfy and casual it is an oversized jumper which just has the New York lettering on the front I got this in a size did I get it in a size 14? yeah I got it in a size 14 I wanted it to be oversized and yeah I love this I just paired it with my denim shorts I'm just obsessed with big jumpers I just want to feel comfy and covered up I am so ready for autumn now this summer has just been a write-off to me I'm already thinking autumn gorgeous pumpkin spice drinks and candles and getting ready for Christmas I'm just over as most of us are 2020 i'm just wanting to get to that nice little cozy comfy point of the year when it's all like nice and chilly outside and get that cozy inside it's just the best so 
Big jumpers are a must. And this was, how much was this? Only £12.80. So boohoo, I do think, although the quality is not always the best, for things like this, just can't beat the price at all. £12.80 for all that jumper. Yeah, gonna get a lot of wear out of that. Next up is another white dress. It's a little bit see-through. So gonna have to make sure that you've got the white or nude underwear on with this one, but it is so nice. It's got this elasticated waist, which I always find quite flattering, pulls you in um, at the waist. And I got this in a size, I got this in size 10. So this is a smocked angel sleeved skater dress. I'm just drawn to like white floaty dresses. So this is a definite keeper. This was 16 pounds, which again, is just so, so cheap, isn't it? This is just really nice and easy to throw on, isn't it? It makes a real nice outfit. I love anything that's just a one outfit. You haven't got to um, think about it too much. Some nice gold jewelry, nice pair of gladiator sandals, and you're good to go. So I love that one. It's just a shame it's a little bit see-through, but um, definite keeper. And then one last dress, and this is this midi tan coloured split dress this is really nice really comfortable i got it in a size small it's a tiny bit big um just at the top just the straps are a little bit loose i can never get it right with the sizing but it is really comfortable really nice this would be nice with just a pair of trainers denim jacket well, i just love all these autumnal colours i'm just you can see gearing up for autumn. This would be really nice with boots as well and a leather jacket, really comfortable. I got it in a size small, like I say, and it was £14.40 for this. So they probably had other colours as well, I can't quite remember, but the slits up the side are really cute as well. So yeah, I've got a similar one on today actually, but this one's a lot tighter. And then a few other little bits that I picked up. I picked up this bag. So this is this cute little pink handbag. I always want small little bags these days. I used to always be all about having a massive bag and having everything in it but a lot of the time now I don't take that much with me especially with you being able to pay on your phone and stuff I don't ever need to take a lot of things around with me and the kids are older so I'm not taking loads of stuff for them out with me so this is a perfect size for me little crossover bag with the metal detailed straps I love this colour I'm always getting things in this colour so yeah I'm happy with this it's not the best quality it's a little bit plasticky but I mean the price is so cheap it's only £14.40 so I will get a lot of use out of this cute little bag happy with that I also picked up these really lovely sandals so it's got all these little straps here and then one for your big toe <laughs> and I got these in um the wide fit because I've got wide feet I've got hobbit feet they fit beautifully may I add so yeah I got them in the wide fit area I don't know if they have them in the normal normal people's feet range but they were only £12.80 were they? Yeah £12.80 for those and then I also picked up a few necklaces because I just think normally if I was to go to Primark which I haven't been to for months I'm not particularly near one I always stock up on their costume jewellery so I kind of think that Boohoo is the next best thing it's got loads of really cheap costume jewellery I always wear this, which is not costume jewelry. This is something that Peter got me. And then obviously I have my wedding rings on. But sometimes it's nice to just wear a bit of gold or just, I like to have a lot of jewelry. I used to wear loads and I never really wear it anymore. Probably because I don't go anywhere. So I picked up a few bits that I saw. I'm a bit obsessed with bees at the minute. So this cute little necklace, it's just got a little bee on the front there. So I thought that was really nice and that's gold. Obviously the jewelry I've got on is white gold. And that one was £3.20. So I think you're, you're talking like the same sort of price as a Primark, I think, for this sort of jewellery, aren't you? And then I got one of these. I love these, but I always get them tangled up. The double pendant. It's already knotted. Oh, for God's sake. I just got it out of the packaging. So that's that doesn't bode well, does it? The fact that it's already tangled up. Ugh. Oh, what pain. Mm. Okay, we've got, uh, I mean, I'll have to get the, it's tangled, but we just don't have time for that, do we? I will get that out later. Um, it's got the three, oh no, two, it's like a double pendant, and that one was £6.40 for that one, so it's got the T-bar and the little, what even is that? I don't know, it looks like a pirate's, what's it called? 
steering wheel? No. You don't call them a steering wheel on a ship, do you? Mast? No. I don't know. Anyway, very pretty. I thought I got a silver one, but I obviously just got all the gold. Again, so tangled up. Look, that's how it's been sent. That's really annoying. I mean, I don't think it's like a big, massive, complicated tangle. Ugh. Oh, guys. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. We're all good. Sort of. Do you know what's weird? I'm looking on my order and I can't actually see this on there. It only says that I've ordered two necklaces. So that's confusing. So I have another gold necklace. I need to check that. I can't actually see that I've ordered three. Maybe I've got a freebie. Who knows? But yeah, that is really nice when it's not all tangled up anyway. So that is a three layered one with just these like gold circles so i love that and i even love it even more if it's not even one that i've ordered and they've just sent it me i love it when stuff like that happens it's probably not true at all though i'll probably look on my order and i probably paid for it but anyway i can't tell you how much that is because i don't know where it's come from but that is everything in today's haul i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and i will see you again for my next video bye everyone